Here it is, the new iTunes uh, 11. Let's check it out. I'm running this on a, uh, let's see. About this Mac. 10.8.2, 4 gigahertz of RAM. I'll give you guys some more info so you know exactly what I'm working with here. This is on an iMac, by the way. System report, there you go, mid-2011, 27-inch iMac, 4 gigs of RAM. So let's check it out. iTunes 11. Wow, right off the bat you can tell it looks quite a bit different than the original iTunes, or the iTunes we're used to. Um, let's go ahead and agree to this. Wow. As you can see, I have a lot of music, but usually it takes minutes for everything to load up. So it's, uh, it's pretty quick, but as you can tell, it's, it's not really catching right up, and I'm moving right now, so it is pretty laggy. Let's see if we can get everything to load up and see if, it, see if it'll catch up here. Let's go look in the cloud. Maybe that's not something you can click on. Uh, let's go to movies. Check that out real quick. Home videos. That's a new section there. I've never seen that before. So that's new. TV shows. I've got quite a few of them on here. Oh, this is neat. Automatically all your, uh, your stuff from the cloud automatically all comes up on here. See, these are the ones that I don't have on my computer anymore just because I didn't have the space for them. So that's pretty cool that they, they show right up. And if I'm correct, you can just go ahead and stream them. Yeah, look at that. Let's see. Well, I have pretty good internet here, but obviously not, not good enough for that. <laughs> Let's go back. Clicked on I double-clicked on it, automatically started playing. You click on one. It uh, brings up a brief little info here. Click on something a little more interesting. Let's go to uh, Sons of Anarchy. Everybody likes Sons of Anarchy, don't they? Pretty cool new layout, to be honest. Season 4, Season 5. Let's go to In the Store. Well, that's weird. It doesn't bring up any other seasons of Sons of Anarchy. It just brought up recommendations. Kind of weird. You'd think it'd bring up the other seasons, but, you know. Uh, up here, you can tell this is different, the play bar. You've got your actual little uh, cover flow type album cover up there for, for your music. Let's go to the iPhone. A little bit different as well. Manually back up and restore. Uh, my backup to, to the cloud. Which I recommend everyone does. A little bit different look here. Oh, that's cool. If you highlight over, it tells you how many photos you have, how many songs, how many apps, what the other is. Uh, one book. So that's pretty cool. Go and hit done. Goes back up there. Let's go to apps and see how that comes up. It is a lot quicker loading the uh, loading the covers. That's for sure. Or loading the icons, whatever you'd like to call it. Let's see, now that they're loaded, let's see if it's... It's not bad. It doesn't appear to be laggy once everything loads. Um, let's go check out the store. There you go. If you've got an iPad or an iPhone, this is exactly what it looks like. So, let's see. You can't, you can't actually use the... Uh, I have a uh, magic trackpad or whatever they call it. It's a magic magic trackpad. 
whatever, and uh, the multi-touch isn't working on these right here. I thought you might be able to just slide through them like you can in cover flow or anything else, but you can't. Apparently these arrows are the only way to, to get through them. Well, that's a little bit annoying that they didn't incorporate their own multi-touch in that. Now it does work on this, but it does seem pretty quick there. Seems like it keeps up pretty good. Top singles, top albums, top movies, top TV shows. Let's go to movies. See how that looks. Let's just click on something here. See how it comes up. Okay, so it is quite a bit different. Quite a bit. iTunes extras, ratings and reviews, related. So it's all pretty well the same stuff. This one, they don't have it for rent, so let's find something that is for rent just to see how it comes up. Oh, there you go. Click on SD to rent an SD or buy an SD. Mm -hmm. Books, same way. Big cover flow type section at the top. Uh, App Store, let's check it out real quick. Same way. I don't know if it's really easier to search or not. Let's, let's search for something. Let's search for the new Angry Pigs by Rovio. Angry Pigs. Showing results for Angry Pigs. Pigs, there you go. <laughs> it's funny that on the iPhone app, Angry Pigs, oh, it's Bad Piggies, that's why. Bad Piggies. There you go. They knew what I was talking about, though, so that is a pretty good, pretty good reply. Or pretty good you know, results. Very quick to flow through. So, there you go. Interesting. Alright, let's go home. Let's see if we can bring this, take this thing into mini player. View. I might have to go play some music first, actually. Now, how do I get back to... There it is. So now you get a library. Nah, that's a bit of a pain, to be honest with you. I'd rather have the, the old sidebar, I think. And, but once you get used to it, it might be better. Who knows? Um, now the question is, is how do you get to your playlists? Playlist, there you go. Bit confusing there. <clears throat> Deranged tunes. Let's go ahead and switch to mini player real quick, see what that looks like. And it still won't let me switch to mini player. Maybe if I take it out of full screen mode, I'll be able to switch to mini player. There we go. Switch to mini player. Oh, see, that's a little bitty mini player now. It's completely different. Uh, I've also got my AirPlay there. Take it straight to the computer on my Apple TV. Multiple. You can click both of them. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and bring it back full screen. I actually prefer full screen over all of them. So there you go. Let's, uh, let's see how we add music to the to these now. Let's go ahead and just try to add the A team to a playlist. Oh, there you go. So they just. No, let's. Depth range tunes. Okay, now let's go to playlist and make sure that went in there. The A team, yep, there it is. Cool. Go ahead and delete that. We don't really want that in there, do we? Radio. There you go. Not a very attractive menu for that, to be honest. Let's see. Just starts playing like normal. Videos. There you go. Genres. So there you go. There's your old sidebar again. All right. Well, that looks like it, guys. Uh, this is a new iTunes 11 by uh, Dustin Depp, youtube.com slash Dustin Depp. Remember to go ahead and subscribe and like. 
And uh, check out all the other videos online. There's many more coming. Uh, there's also going to be another video of my review of the new update for the Apple TV.